oneself. If one knew oneself to be precious, one would guard oneself with care. The sage will watch over herself in any part of the night. In first establishing himself in what is proper and only then teaching others, the sage will not be stained. As one instructs others, so should one do oneself. Only the self-controlled should restrain others. Truly, it's hard to restrain oneself. Oneself, indeed, is one's own protector. What other protector could there be? With self-control, one gains a protector hard to obtain. By oneself alone is evil done. Born of oneself, produced of oneself, it grinds down those devoid of wisdom as a diamond grinds down a gem. They who cover themselves with their own corrupt conduct, like a creeper covers a tree, do to themselves what an enemy wishes for them. It's easy to do what is not good and things that harm oneself. It's very difficult to do things beneficial and good. The unwise who rely on evil views to malign the teachings of the noble arhants who live the Dharma produce fruit that destroys themselves, like the kataka reed that dies upon bearing fruit. Evil is done by oneself alone. By oneself is one defiled. Evil is avoided by oneself. By oneself alone is one purified. Purity and impurity depend on oneself. No one can purify another. Don't give up your own welfare for the sake of others' welfare, however great. Clearly know your own welfare and be intent on the highest good.